Hello everybody and welcome to my first, I guess I want to say, official product review. I've done a couple reviews before in the past over things like um, artwork and things of that um, nature, but I've never actually gotten a product and reviewed it um, for my YouTube subscribers or anybody like that. Um, I tend to shy away from it because a lot of the reviews that I do see um, are usually sponsored or it's something that the artist was sent for free and of course you know well I know me personally if someone gave me something for free I probably would put them in a more positive light than I would normally do um, but whatever that's just me um, but I was really interested in um, getting the Blackwing pencils and I purchased them and I mentioned them in sketchbook review that I had gotten them and a lot of people have been asking me since then how they were. Um, I wanted to give them a fair go. Uh, I purchased the pencils sort of because I couldn't really find a comparative video. I found people comparing the different types of black wings together and that was really helpful in um, deciding which one I wanted to purchase but it didn't really help me because I was like well how is this any better than the pencil I normally use? So I just bit the bullet, purchased the pencils, and decided that I was going to give them a good go of it, and then I was going to go ahead and give an honest review for my viewers and for anybody else who is struggling because when I'm going to buy a product, I need to know the pros and cons compared to what I already have. And, um, Without that, it, it leaves me sort of in a limbo of I don't know if I should because it wasn't a cheap purchase, but at the same time, it was one I was super curious about, so I ended up spending the money anyway, but some people might not take that step just because they don't have the proper information. And I mean, an unbiased opinion, you know, and I'm going to be pretty honest about these pencils. Um, you guys will hear. So what we have here is the... Uh, pa Palomino, uh, I think it's Palomino Blackwing Pencils. Um, this is my first one. It is very used. It lasted me about a month. So I'm going to show you guys how they send the product. Is they give you this snazzy little awesome box and you pop it open and you've got all of your pencils right there. Um, this is a full pencil here. I have makeup on my finger when I opened this earlier so it's got a little scuff on it. But um, this is the full pencil. It's like a nice matte black paint finish on it, which I actually really like. And then this little handy dandy eraser at the end. You get 12 of them. And I paid, because they were on sale and have been ever since I did, uh, I paid $21.95 for these. So I got 12 pencils for $21.95. And they ship really well. None of the pencils were broken. I've not had any issues with the lead. So I'm really happy with the packaging altogether. It's very nicely designed. It's lightweight. It gives you a little box. I could throw this in my regular um, art supply uh, thing and not worry about losing any of them. They're all together. And this is actually a pretty hefty box. I, I'm such a box nerd. I can't lie. And it's, look, it's even designed on the inside. It's pretty hefty material. So you don't have to worry about your pencils getting all banged up anyway. But all right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this guy aside. So what I'm going to go into here is, um, well, basically what I'm going to compare it to. So we have our Palomino Blackwing right here. And I went back into the years of yawn and I pulled out, because I do have art supplies, like official art supplies, because I was an art student for, well, I'm a graduated art student. And I pulled out the pencils that we got from um, my institution. Um, it's hard to see because of the glare, because it's metal. It's metal uh, and old. <laughs> but uh, this is a Faber-Castell um, pencil that I got. This was supposed to be used for my life drawing classes. Uh, some of them and uh, yeah so there's that and then I decided to compare it with because this is the question I know I had and I'm sure you guys have what is it like compared to what I'm using right now here you guys go handy dandy mechanical pencil with regular um, Pentel high polymer HB lead now I know some artists who could do some fantastic work with this. So these, I'm not by any means saying they're terrible pencils or anything. This has been my go-to for 
ever. It is still my go-to because they travel so well. I don't have to worry about sharpening and things like that. Um, so when I'm traveling, I'm still using these, like it or not. But um, yeah, this is what I'm comparing it to because I feel like this is the major thing that people are wondering is how is it compared to my regular HB pencil. Now you can get different leads for your pencils and everything like that so I don't want you guys to get too caught up on that. I want you guys to get caught up on what you can do with the pencils and everything. So let's go ahead and start with the easiest thing for me, um, the feel in the hand. This right here has been my go-to for years and what I noticed with this is that it's always thicker down here. For me I tend to get thicker pencils but this feels light, this feels safe, this is made of metal, and it's smooth in my hand. I am very used to this as far as it goes with my um, pencils and everything like that. This is what I'm used to. So there we go. This already has a bias because I'm used to it. The Faber-Castell feels very small in my hand and like I can't get a good grip on it probably because I'm so used to having a grip portion to it um, and it could be possibly because of the varnish that they've used on it. It's not as matte as the Palomino. It feels slippery and I feel like if I'm really pushing hard I'm going to it's going to slide right out of my hand, which I believe was one of the problems I had in drawing classes, which is why I started using mechanical pencils. Anyway, now you can get little grippy thingies to put on the ends of these. So don't take my laziness as the end all be all of what will be. Um, you can, uh, uh, you can obviously change things or even just put a little roll of tape and a piece of paper to make it to where this doesn't slide but it overall the pencil it's light but it feels very small in my hand like my fingers feel like they're mushed together and I don't like that feel I don't like that feel bro the Palomino on the other hand well about the same it, it felt small but then I realized no it actually feels bigger and then I compared the sizes of the pencils and the Palomino are actually just a little bit bigger it, I know it's hard to see but just their roundness is just a little bit different this is very um, jagged in its edging whereas the Palomino is a little bit softer so it's a little bit nicer on the hand to me and it does feel bigger in the hand now the eraser is kind of what throws me off a bit because it does add a little bit of weight. But as I was using the pencil, the eraser became a non-issue. Um, it balances out. It really does. It doesn't feel too heavy. And I just want to point this out because I know it's one of the selling points of the Palomino is that it has an adjustable eraser. Um, you could pull it out and use it. I mean, so does my um, mechanical pencil as well. So you could pull this out and change this as you need to. Um, and they're replaceable and you can get different colors. So if you don't like the black and the white, you can get a black eraser to go with it or a pink one even. Um, personally, I didn't use this because I tend to use a kneaded eraser to keep the shavings down. But it is what it is. But overall, this feels nice. I prefer the finish on this. My fingers don't slip on it as much. Um, and this is made out of cedar. And okay, here we go. I'm a dork. <laughs> um... We burn wood um, as a source of heat in my house. So I've looked into all different kinds of wood and cedar wood in particular is one of my favorites. Why? Because it is an an, it is a natural anti-pesticide. It is a natural anti-corroding um, wood. It, it's just got all these qualities to it that make it really nice. Plus it smells amazing. Um, if you ever stop and notice there aren't as many bugs in cedar trees and birds tend to nest in cedar trees and it's because of that... Um, sort of that protective agent to it. So right then and there, I already like it for that for that purpose. Um, now this is a very much older pencil. So the wood on it, as you can see, is already kind of getting dingy and nasty. And I honestly don't know what kind of wood they used for this. It doesn't say. But um, really, if you're into that, I guess it's important. I wouldn't keep a pencil around really that long. I just, I'm too lazy and too much of a hoarder to throw any of my art supplies out. Uh, but this is made of cedar wood and that does to me make a difference. Um, I feel like cedar is a better quality wood um, compared to just standard regular other hardwoods. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and go into my next test which is the smoothness test. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. 
And I'm hoping you guys can hear this because part of this um, idea is that, or one of the things that black or Palomino totes is that they have a very smooth uh, feel to how their pencils go on paper. Um, I think I'm out of focus. I am super out of focus. Okay. Um, it's true. I'm going to say that right now. There is a difference, but as you'll see, well, let me go ahead and just do this. So this is my mechanical pencil. It is the pen, the Pentel High Polymer HB lead. So it's already a harder lead, but I didn't have any softer lead on hand. But let's go ahead and do a quick radiation. Okay, so this is mechanical. Now, what I'm going to say right now is this is very, very scratchy. It is a harder lead, though, so I tend to be a little bit more forgiving of the fact it's not an exact copy or an exact duplicate. But this is what I use. It is grainy. It is scratchy. You can feel it brushing against the paper. So up here, I'm just going to... You can sort of hear it. I can feel it, so <laughs> I have that advantage. Unfortunately, I can't video feel. Um, yes, the other problem I have with the mechanical pencils is when I do want to get those darker darks, I break the lead. I am a beast. It's <laughs> There's no fighting it. I am a beast. So, um, yeah, this in feel of smoothness is not as smooth. It's rougher, and the leads do break. I mean, it doesn't take much. They break very easily. So we're going to go ahead and do the Palomino now because I know that's the one that you guys all want to do. So gradation. Like off the bat, you can really hear the difference. Um, and then just pressing hard. And I like to press hard because I like to see as how dark I can actually get it. You guys know me. I do hundreds of sketches a week sometimes. Other times it's only two. But point being is that um, I like to, I tend to not finish my, my sketches. My sketches tend to be my finished work, if that makes any sense. So if I can bring out my darkers, my darks, my darkers, bring out my darks to where they look like inks, it just makes it look more like a finished piece and then I'm happier with it. Okay, and now for the Faber-Castell. Okay, so gradation. And then as dark as I can get it. Now this is a 4B. So it's pretty on par. The black wing's still a little bit darker. I know it's such a subtle difference, it's hard to see. This is going on pretty smooth but and again I wish I could make you guys I could video the feel but this is smoother by far and this is not smooth at all so if you're into the feel of how uh, lead is going on to paper underneath your hand as you're working this is going to win out but this is a close second so I would not say that that's not good um okay so that's the gradation test that I wanted to do and then what else was there? Oh, mechanical, or not mechanical. Oh my goodness, I'm reading what I've written. <laughs> um, the other thing is uses. Okay, so we all know that we have our go-to pencils and we have different uses for our pencils. As artists, we're never happy with just one product. We are finicky like that. It is ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and sort of go through the differences of what I would use them for. This right here, technical drawing, definitely. Um, Travel drawing, definitely, because if you know how to use the pencil, you can get your darkest darks and things like that. It's not a bad little pencil. I would definitely take this traveling with me. Um, and if I didn't want to lose too much of my lead, like you know how without fixative, if you, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out for you guys. Um, if you uh, color something on a page and then turn it, it's going to go to, it's going to transfer to the following page. This one doesn't do that as much. Um, the lead tends to be a little bit more tighter packed, if that makes any sense to you guys. 
and yeah so so and definitely for fine lining to get those small little details I prefer this um, the Blackwing Pearl on the Faber Castell, definitely for at-home sketching. I would much prefer it. I would use both of them. Um, but this one I probably won't use. I just don't like the feel of the pencil in my hand. And if I don't like the feel of a pencil, I'm not going to use it. It's going to sit as it has, non-used for years. I found myself looking for this when I was sketching. Between the two of these, I did find myself looking for this as I was sketching. Um, this definitely, like, as you wear off the lead, you get nice variations in your lines, um, pressure makes a difference, things like that. You can shade easily with a, th with a fatter lead like this. Um, your mechanical pencil you still can, but it just takes a little bit more work. I'm not saying you can't do the same exact thing as far as, you know, shading and things like that, but you guys get what, I mean, you can see the difference right here in quality just in what I've done right here. Um, so yeah, I would definitely use this one for at-home sketching. Um, I tend to sketch a lot to plot out, um, to do storytelling, things like that. So this has been actually a delight to use. I still use this from, you know, every now and again. I don't hate it, but but I definitely wouldn't use this. I can't lie. I'm sorry, favorite Castell. I know that they're an excellent company. I just, I can't bring myself to use these drawing pencils. I couldn't in school um, 10 years ago. I can't now. It just, it doesn't work. So overall, my opinion is that I really, 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 really do like the Pal Palomino Blackwing pencils. Um, the downside is, is I feel like this is kind of a waste because personally, I don't use it. And of course, the sharpening. You guys, it, I, I like having fine tips sometimes when I'm drawing a lot. Um, so I found myself sharpening this a lot. And I actually came from the school of thought with animation. So, I mean, I'm always prepared. I always have an X-Acto blade or something a knife to cut with. Now I sharpen this with a sharpener for the video, but I found that um, because the pencil, as you can see, the cedar goes up the side of the lead, you tend to lose some lead or it becomes one-sided. What you want is like an even thing. So I always found that I had to bring this along with me and sort of shave that down so I could use all of the lead instead of just part of it. Um, but this is true of any drawing pencil with me, any traditional pencil with me. Um, it's just a school of thought that they taught me when I was in um, art schools that don't use pencil sharpeners, use X-Acto blades to sharpen your pencils. I know a lot of animators who still do that to this day, um, but yeah. But you can't always have one of these with you. So the endless sharpening was a pain in the butt because with this, I just, new lead, new lead. You know, it was amazing. <laughs> this is amazing for that. Again, that's why I prefer this for traveling over this. Um, I guess overall what I want to say is you guys, the favorite Castell is fine too. It really is. Personally, I don't like it because of the feel and that's the only thing. Otherwise, because you can get this, this is a 4B, you can get this in 6B, you can get this in 8B, which means you can get even darker leads um, and they're soft and B is soft guys. H is hard. I think B stands for bold and H st stands for hard something like that. Anyway, point being is that, you know, you don't have to get the black wing pearl, um, to get a good drawing pencil. If feel isn't that big of a deal to you, or if you could just kind of get over it and it doesn't even have the eraser, which is sort of one of the things I like. Cause then to me, that's more pencil. I just get one of those, uh, pencil extenders, which is another downfall of the black wing pearl is you can't put a pencil extender on it because this is in the way you would have to like somehow rig this off in order to use a pencil extender. Um, what else is there I wanted to say? Yeah, this is a comparable replacement. But I know what a lot of people say is, okay, well, it's going to be a difference in price for me. And so I went ahead and looked that up for you guys. The Blackwing Pearls, like I said earlier, have been on sale since I've bought them for $21.95 a box. So you get 12 and then shipping is going to vary depending on where you live. Um, whether it's in the U.S., out of the U.S., certain parts of the U.S., it, it, for some reason it just is not standard. Um... But yes, so this was $21.95. So a black wing, and I will write this right here, black wing right now, and this is off of Amazon, is once you do everything and not add tax, because why would I do that, is $1.83 per pencil. 
which to me seems like a lot, but it's cheaper than they have been in the past because I know that people were paying $44 for a box of Black Wings before um, they came back into production. So if it's a pencil you like, you're going to you're gonna spend the extra money. Personally, I will buy these again once I'm done with um, my 12, but I do plan to give a couple away as gifts because I feel like I need to share my, you know, my good fortune. I've been able to afford something that is very nice and I feel like I need to give back so I'm going to pay a little bit of it forward but as soon as I'm out of pencils and these things have been lasting me about a month each so that's a, a box of 12 is a year so I, I'm pretty sure in a year I'll be able to afford another one or ask for one for a present or something like that so yes uh back to my original point of price which I know I keep sort of veering off of a dollar 83 for the black wing now these right here, this was funny. Now you can get a pack of these where you get the, the 8B, the 6B, the 2B, the 4B, HB, uh, 4H, 2H, uh, 6H, and I think 8H. It, there's a lot of them. You can get a variety pack for uh, $14.37. But if you're looking for the same kind of lead as the, the Palomino, which is what I would be doing, you would want something like just the 4B. You can buy these individually, but right now on Amazon, they are not in stock. And they're not sold by Faber-Castell, which to me is like, okay, if it's not being sold by the actual company, I'm, I'm a little hesitant. So I looked around and looked around on Amazon, and I eventually did find on Faber-Castell that they do sell these in boxes of 12. They sell these in boxes of 12 for, drum roll please, $24.39, which is actually more expensive than your Palomino, and that's not including shipping. So I pulled out my fa han my fancy handy dandy little calculator on my phone and I figured out that Faber-Castell, if you break down the price, is $2.03 per pencil. Which is, as I said, more expensive than the Blackwing Pearl. And that's not including shipping, so there's still a little bit of extra cost on these. These guys, mechanical pencils, you guys know you can go to the dollar store and get. It's not about the mechanical pencil. Honestly, it's about the lead. I stick with the Pentel lead. I like it. The dollar store brand lead, the stuff that comes preloaded into the um, pencils, I say chuck it. Chuck it right away because it's not good. It tends to be kind of waxy. But yeah, these right here, you know, you can get for a dime a dozen or pay a dime a dozen. So don't worry too much on the, if you're looking to get this. But if you're looking for a free drawing, because that's what I was looking for. I was like, I want a traditional pencil that I could keep and draw with at home and just kind of feel like it's a little slice of heaven and magic and unicorns pooping rainbows. That would be the pal Palomino for me. I do like it that much. It's got its downsides, like I've said. I don't like this eraser portion. I don't like that I have to constantly sharpen it, but for the quality of the sketches I've been getting, the dark darks, the lights, the ease of shading, everything like that, I do like this. For my smaller travel stuff, I do still prefer this. And this right here is probably going to end up back in a drawer and will never be used again just because I don't like the feel. And cost-wise, like I said, you know, I'm just kind of reviewing for you guys. Cost-wise, the Blackwing Pearls come out to actually be cheaper than the Favorite Castell. Now, there are other drawing pencils. I don't own every single drawing pencil in the world. Um, and I'm sure that there's something comparable for you guys out there. You know, everyone has their own thing. But this is what I had on hand. This is what I wanted to compare. And this is what I wanted to review for you. So, in closing... I like my my Palomino. I will be using them and I will be gifting them because I think that they're an excellent pencil and I need to share the wealth. Faber-Castell is going back in a drawer. This guy is going to go in my purse or in my little pencil case to go with me when I travel. I still will use it. Every now and then when I want to get finer details, I do still pull this out. So I'm not trashing what I normally use anyway. I love it and I like the feel still. But overall... I do like the Palomino and I do recommend them. Um, if you guys, some places do sell them open stock so you can just buy one and try it out for yourself. Personally, I no place around here sells open stock because stuff is so high because I don't live in the nicest place. But um, if you guys can get one and try it, then I think you'll really enjoy it and I think that you'll find that drawing becomes a little bit 
smoother and just you know, everything flows a little bit better when it flows against the paper better when you don't feel like you're fighting the paper I guess is the take from this so yes I do recommend this in comparison to my mechanical pencil um, but it is not the, the end-all be-all of drawing pencils because you can easily get other pencils that are just as comparable and probably more available. Faber-Castell is carried by Michaels and Hobby Lobby. You could go to the store right now and buy one. I think actually even Walmart carries Faber-Castell pe drawing pencils now. And that's not to say that there aren't other drawing pencils too that work. Like I said, I don't want to diss. I'm just going off of what I had on hand. But as far as availability, Faber-Castell is much easier to come by. Black wings are very difficult to come by. You have, I have to order them. I don't know any place that just sells them. And mechanical pencils, obviously, you can go anywhere and get those. So yes, that is my full-on review of the Palomino black wing uh, pencils. By all means, if you guys can get one and try it out, please do. I think you'll like them. I really do think you'll like them. And the higher the demand, the higher the production and they have gone out of production once because uh 2d animation has kind of taken a back step and i know that a lot of animators used uh black wing pencils uh and because of that production went down so they weren't producing as much and then the price went up so i do foresee if these become like big in the future that the price might go down but i wouldn't expect it but yes in a nutshell, I like the Palominos and I will continue to use them. I'm going to use this guy until it's a little stub and I'm sitting here like this, kind of using like up to that point. Um, and then I will go on to my next pencil. But again, yes, it's not a 110% replacement for everything I have. I'm still going to use other pencils. It's just not possible for one pencil to be the answer to everything. But um, yes. It's a good pencil. If you guys can't get one, try it out. Do it. I think you'll like it. But other than that, that's all I've got to say. Oh, wait. I did find the little naked baby when I was looking through my pencils. I don't even know where this little naked baby came from. I just thought it was funny and I wanted to share it. You guys can go ahead and give him a name down in the description if you want. Little naked baby. All right. I am five years old, I promise. Um, but yes, that's it for this review. I hope it helps somebody out. If it did, please let me know. If you guys like what you saw, feel free to like, subscribe, comment below. Um, if you have any more questions about the Palominos, then feel free to go ahead and ask. I'll try to get to them. Um, if I get like completely swamped, I won't be able to. But I do try to reply to all my comments. So if you guys have any more questions um, about the product itself, feel free to ask and I'll go ahead and do what I can. Again, I just want to point out I am not endorsed. I have not been given these pencils for free. I spent my own hard-earned money. You guys don't even know how much work I had to do to afford these. <laughs> <laughs> they're not that expensive but just to get the extra funds I had to do a little bit of work but um yes I purchased this with my own money and this is my fair and honest review is that these are worth the cost in comparison to the other drawing pencil I had on hand which is actually more expensive and I didn't realize but yes please give it a try and I hope it works out for you guys and I hope you guys can all get a chance to try it but other than that thank you guys for watching again I hope I helped if not, then I'm sorry for yammering your ear off for half an hour. But everybody have a lovely day and keep drawing.